Just oh, you have to follow her. I will follow her. Okay. The thing is, these streets are so little and narrow, I, I can't do 90 miles an hour down them like I would normally. Let's look to the right and see if she's coming up. There was houses and, and little driveways and alleys, and God only knows what she could run into. I just told Louise and Pippa, keep your eyes on her. Here, Louise, get in. I said, you know what? I'm just going to follow her with the van and just wait till she gets tired. She knows we're after her. I know she does. But she's going to get tired eventually. I know. The more we chase the dog, the more emotionally invested you become. And so the drive becomes stronger the more she runs to catch her and help her. Is she still there, Louise? She's still there. She's, a, she's slowing down. Yeah. She's right next to us. She hobbled and she hobbled, and I just stayed alongside the road, just kept my eyes on her. Lady. Hi, Mama. I'm trying to get ahead of her. I know, you are ahead of her. Slow, slow down, slow down. I'm thinking to myself, OK, little dog, there's an empty porch, there's an empty yard. Come on, you're going you're gonna to turn in one of these. Stop, 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 stop. She just stopped. Stop. She's getting tired. You just hang on. And she decides to pick the porch with about five or six big, huge guys. Ask if we can go in their yard and catch her. Can we go in your yard and catch her? People sometimes don't take very well to strangers and dogs running up onto their property. At this point, I kind of wasn't thinking about it. I just wanted to get the dog. I think these guys were just as surprised as we were, because Louise like jumped out of the van like, you know, Cagney and Lacey. And these guys are like, whoa, whoa. You know, get off our porch. I mean, they were like pissed. What y'all finna do with that dog? Y'all not gonna hurt the dog, not y'all. You don't kill dogs, do you? No, no, no we no, want to help no. her. I don't know who said it. I heard someone say, "Y'all not gonna hurt her, are you? You're not gonna kill her, are you?" And I was like, "Wow." Then I was like, "We're we're in good hands here." Hi, lady. What are y'all getting her for? We're a pit bull rescue, so we're gonna help her get some some medical help. What's up with her leg? Are y'all gonna fix her leg? We'll take it yeah. out of that. Okay. Yeah. It was just so refreshing. You know, it just renews, cliche, renews my faith in humanity. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You know, whenever we pick up a dog, of course, we, we name it. And one of the guys on the porch, Tuan, he was the sweetest one. You know, he defines big old teddy bear. So we decided that we were going to name this dog in his honor. So we uh, named her Latuanda. Duh.